did President Panera say when asked how much the rescue operation had cost? The answer is many millions, but the cost is not important. So, and I don't want this to be pouring rain on Britain, but has anyone else been looking at those extraordinary scenes coming out of Chile and thinking, I really love that to happen here? As the last of the 33 miners emerged safely from their 69-day stint trapped underground, there was crying, singing, flag-waving and endless chants of Chile, Chile, Chile. Even the beaming president, Sebastian Pinera, recognised the rescue operation may have changed his country's fortunes forever. <laughs> And I don't think he's making that up. Certainly not what you see on the telly, but could it ever happen here? All of us, united. What would it take to get David Cameron grinning like a Cheshire cat? <laughs> the, last time, the last time we saw this country united in emotion was when Princess Diana died 13 years ago. And that, of course, was hardly a cause for celebration or national pride. Is it that there's something wrong with us? What has Chile got that we haven't? A Latin temperament, a better weather, a, a booming economy, a, a sense of relief that people now don't disappear in the middle of the night. Oh, General Pinochet. Uh, avocados, <laughs> uh, pan pipes, llamas. I'm serious, I'm serious. Do we lack national pride because we don't have any llamas? National identity, sorry, that we don't have any national identity. Is it because we don't think of ourselves as British, but Scottish, English, Welsh, Irish, Polish, whatever? Is it because national pride has been usurped by the likes of the English Defence League? Do the English no longer see the cross of St George as something to be proud of, but a sign that a small-minded bigot might live nearby? What is the secret ingredient in chilli? There's another forced pun. Um, <laughs> and as we were chatting about it during the break already, Elizabeth, I'm going to start with you. Well, I think we're rather confused as to um, how we can behave anymore. Yes, which flag do we wrap ourselves in? Are we allowed to use St George's? Are we Welsh? Or is it the Union Jack? I do think we're very emotional, but we don't know how to show it as much. They are a tactile nation. They do show their That's feelings That's the Latin-y... Yeah, it does, it does, does come that, Does that follow it? from the weather, that if you're outside... I think I mean, it's part of it. It's part of your, 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 your being, isn't it? And to how you behave. And, you know, even if you shut... I mean... Was it the third guy who came out, or the second? And I think so they... moving. He, he brought rocks. Yeah. So, well, I do think that is within us. Look at the, the guys in Afghanistan as, at the moment. They come back with terrible injuries, and they form a charity to help the others who are like that. It is there, but it's sort of under yeah, the Yeah, but then you, then you get people marching against the war, you get people marching against the people that are marching against the war, you get the English Defence League, I flagged up there, I mean, there was some big, there was going to be some big demo that had to be cancelled the other day because of suspected trouble. We're not united. That's what would... And we were united by the death of Diana, I think, although... Well, to be I, united, you have to have a leader. I think that we suffer from every man for himself, big time. Mm -hmm. I think on we, the bus. I think we all Elbows suffer out, from every man for himself. I think mm -hmm. we've gotten we've gotten really frightened of one another. Mm -hmm. Each, each kind of subculture or, like she said, about which flag would we, would we unite under? I, I find that people often have asked me all my life, what am I? Even though I was born in Liverpool, because I've got a Nigerian parent. I think there's so many complicated levels to what makes up modern Britain, whereas I think Chile is largely one type of personal person, one, t one line of heritage, much more than we've got all these different people who've come in and made this country what it is for the good or for the bad. Yeah. What would we? What would we un unite under? Also, we, we, we. I mean, do you know Europe's what I mean? Had a, yeah. Europe's not had a great experience with nationalism, has, has it? No. I mean, no. Now, now, War. now, there's a point, isn't it? That our experience of nationalism has been major, major death, major division. But then Chile, you know. I mean, you know, coup d'état. Do you uh, know what? People Most people of the people would have the forgotten that if he hadn't said it. When he said, when he said, uh, that people have forgotten the coup d'état and the dictatorship. <laughs> I thought, oh. Yeah, you had a dictatorship. <laughs> you shouldn't have said I mean, the oldest miner was 61. He would have gone through both. Mm -hmm. uh, so he'd have gone to the lurch to the left and the lurch to the right. You've got a centre right uh, leader now. So they haven't had it easy. No. You know, they haven't had it easy. But right now, Latin America is booming. Mm. And. Uh, and also, all the cameras are in Chile, you know. Chile is not really the focus of, of, of world attention very often, very often, except for, as he said, coup de and dictatorship. And suddenly you've got all the cameras there, and an opportunity to say, you know, I'm proud of my country is, is probably very good. I just think it's a bit selfish of them. Could they not have waited till Christmas to come up so we could have a great, you know, good news story? Honestly, <laughs> honestly. Cheer us all up a bit. I, I, I've started with the preamble that I, I, I watch the pictures on telly 
with a, a, a sense of envy, actually. Mm. You know, all the celebrations, like, I, 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 it made me think of my friends in Spain, and when they go out, everything's so open. Do, they, do any of you get the same vibe, this kind of a sense? You're, you're saying no, no Fina, you don't... I'm not envious of it at all, but... I you can, wouldn't I can... like to see people, if there was a disaster, people coming out, and the first thing they do is shouting, chili, yes. chili, chili, kissing the ground, hugging their president, but it was always chili, 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 mm. the flags, the T-shirts. I don't think it's about the flag. I just think that it's about the uh, celebration, for me, of, of the miracle that these humans who've been trapped for 70 days but it's a so celebration. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be celebrating the country. But it's that's a celebration just me. that's gone the length and breadth of the country, and that's a hell of a length for yeah. starters. Yeah, but <laughs> I would be. I'm just celebrating the the triumph of the human spirit. So it, I wouldn't need a particular flag to put that emotion. But that's but that's what I'm saying. Is that, 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 that's, but that's the point that they, they came out, and it wasn't just celebrating the human spirit. It was celebrating <laughs> Chile. Yeah. And that's the thing that struck them. Every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. Well, I didn't see all 33. Yeah, yeah. Out, so <laughs> Don't exactly drift exactly it off. off you. <laughs> In between the tweets. <laughs> <you don't really laughs> um, Gone. We are an island, and even though geographically we're so near to France, I mean, when I feel so sorry. I mean, going a little off the point, but not the students in France when the, the universe, the students from universities didn't like what was given to them, they took to the streets. Absolutely. We just sort of grumbled. Well, the whole of the and economic it, troubles that we have in this country, um, we are sharing with virtually every one of our European neighbours. Mm. In France, they've been out on the streets every day, mm. every single day. We haven't gone out on the streets at all. Um, it's a bit chilly, someone's saying in my ear there. <laughs> <laughs> Their puns are coming thick and fast. Right, so, does anybody else feel a sense of envy as to what's going on in Chile? And can anybody tell us what it is, perhaps, that we are lacking that they have got? <laughs> Kirsty. OK, first we have Sue on line one. Morning, Sue. Good morning. Morning. So, do you see a difference in how British people come together in times of, uh, of triumph and Chilean people? Yes, I do. I'm old enough to remember the end of the Second World War. Excellent. When I, I went up with friends to the West End and watched some of our soldiers and airmen, sailors, returning, marching down Whitehall. Mm -hmm. And also, when the end of the war came with Japan, we were in bed. My sister woke us up. We all got up, got dressed, went to the West End and saw somebody singing in Piccadilly Circus, I'm going to get lit up when the lights go on in London. A lot of you won't remember well, that. Well, we, we won't we remember... We have national pride, but at the moment, I don't see anything that we've got pride in. But just country. remember, Sue, that that, that that outpouring of pride that came following the end of the Second World War was the relief that followed, you know, the... The mass human slaughter, uh, a world that was imploding. In Chile, it's come out because 33 men have, have, have lived against the odds, perhaps. Mm. And it's maybe a much smaller event, but the relief uh, or the expression of relief seems so much greater. I don't think they would celebrate if even one of them didn't return. Ah, that's a very good point. Very good point. The fact that it all came through. All right, Sue, thank you. I'm glad we heard someone for that. I was going to put a line in the script about the Second World War. Kirsty. OK, next we have Mark on line two. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for taking the call. Pleasure. Um, I see that Britain today is, is not Brit. What is British? We seem to be repressed. We're not allowed to celebrate being Britain. I understand diversity. I understand cultural changes. For example, World Cup. We actually put up the English flag, OK? And then the council and the government told us to actually take them down, just in case it offends anybody. And I think people are too scared to actually do anything these days, too, too scared to show emotion, just in the case it offends somebody else. I did think when I saw him, we were choking again during the ad break, uh, the scenes of the cars going through the town, and everybody leaning out the windows. Of course, in this country, there'll be the lollipop man dragged off to the cells, <laughs> rubbing the thank you sign, and Plod standing on the corner nicking people for, I don't know, driving irresponsibly. Um, do you think, though, Mark, I mean, you, you're sort of suggesting this is new, this sense of repression, but stiff upper lip, of course, is about repressing emotion, and that's been around since, what, Kitchener's time, Maybe this is the way we are, the nature of British people. No, I don't think this is new, but it's something... We've not been allowed to talk about it. We're not allowed to talk about certain things, the changes in being British, actually saying that we're British, and celebrating being British. Now that this has come on, I mean, this is the first programme where we've, I've actually seen a discussion about Britain. Normally, it's not discussed. 
we seem to be formed or being pushed into this line of thinking and it's very very difficult to change okay okay thank you very much for that mark uh, i'm gonna do another one Kirsty. yes we have jill next on line three jill good morning hi matthew um cool then what do you make of the scenes in chile and how could you relate those to to how british people are i think it was nice to see it was nice to see all these people supporting the rescue of all these um, Chileans. I, I think as a society, this nation has become very selfish, very insular. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go along with that. Very um, I, I, as opposed to we. Me, not we. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and whatever we want, we're entitled to, um, to have. And, do you think, uh, do you think you're... Now, here's a question. Do you think... And I'm mindful of Sue, our first caller, and coming yeah. through the Second War. Do you think that we've had it too easy, that we take things for granted? Because I'm aware that in Chile, if you were, what, 30 years old or older, you would be very aware of some of the dark times your country had been through, properly dark times. Whereas if you're well, under 60 in this country, you've pretty much got through times of peace, decades of peace. Yeah, I, I, I think with the wars, with the two wars that we've had, um, it, we, we have been fighting for this country against an enemy that was um, wanting to invade this country. Now we're in wars that are nothing to do with this country. Very true. We're fighting in other countries for other, other people, and we feel detached from those wars. We feel sympathy for the soldiers and the people that die, but we don't have a connection as to why we're there. Yeah. Um, um, so there, there isn't that national pride. Um, we, we're just insular, we're just, um, I mean, football teams generate the, the we, um, uh, they, they, they generate the we with the team because they all want the team to win. Yeah, but, but of course... But this country it, it, thinks singularly, and, and um, it's what the individual wants as opposed to what we want as a whole. You see, even, I was thinking about the football analogy, uh, one, because England my team is so utterly useless okay <laughs> the one there's no real sense of pride to be had there but then if you think say we'd won the world cup in south yeah. africa <laughs> 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 uh -huh. <laughs> big ask even then right because of the structure of the country there wouldn't be a national celebration no, you know it would be an, it would be an english celebration yeah. and there'd probably be some poor 10 year old english boy beaten up in scotland <laughs> as there was during yeah. the euro thing for wearing an english shirt you know it's and, and, and parts of this country wanting to break away. You know, even, even the county that I live in wants to be separate. Scotland, <laughs> England, Ireland and, and Wales. And, and now you've got counties that want to detach themselves from the, the, um, the, the whole Great Britain context. Maybe because they find it would be easier to develop a sense. I mean, I'm, I'm very fond of Wales. I go there a lot. And you do get the sense there's a much more yeah. defined sense of what it is to be Welsh these mm -hmm. days than it is to be English well, people, or British. People want to belong to, to, a, to a, a greater whole. Um, I, I think people want that. We, I think counties and, and, and places like Scotland and Wales, they want to have a, a, a sense of belonging, and that's why they okay. feel that they can create it within their own county or their own country. Um, but as a whole, I think... Um, to get everyone to pull together, we all have to to um, have a uh, something that um, binds us all yeah. together. Absol at the moment, we're, Absolutely, we're being made to feel as if we're just individuals. We're we're part of Europe. Okay, okay. Do you know who I blame? Jeremy Kyle. There we go. <laughs> It's the only obvious solution. That makes, that makes sense. Now, thank you, Jill. Thank you for all our callers. And again, loads and loads we didn't get to as well. Loads of different points. Uh, I should tell you, by the way, if you want to see more of those spectacular celebrations in Chile, you'll, be, want, to be, you'll want to be watching at 7 o'clock tonight for a special programme here on Channel 5. It's called Rescuing the Chilean Miners. It's a five-new special. Starts at 7pm tonight, as I said, on 5. After the break, are men getting more girly? <laughs> <laughs> Men's magazines today read more like women's magazines always have fashion, beauty tips, agony columns. Scientists will tell you man, man has more oestrogen inside him than he did 70 years ago, which is where moobs came from, right? So maybe it's true. 0207 173 555 is the number for your thoughts and we'll hear plenty of them on the other side of the ads.